Today I'll be showcasing my endgame build for Percival, an exceptionally powerful character that deals outstanding and consistent damage, all the while being very easy to play, so he will be a great pickup for any player that is looking to increase their party's performance by having him as the main character or even as an AI companion. In this video I will be going through all the skills, sigils, weapons and overall optimizations so that you can get the most out of Percival and his build. With that being said, hello everyone my name is Dark Hero. if you are enjoying my Grand Blue Fantasy reeling guides and build videos, please subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions about the game, feel free to ask them on my live streams. So Percival is a character that excels at dealing very high damage by charging up his powerful charged attack and using skills to deal extra damage while also letting you perform your charged attack faster. As you saw right there that was 200k damage off of the charged attack alone without any buffs and as I will show you later on, I haven't yet finished all my masteries and there's quite a few sigils that I am missing so this could be even better. Every single one of Percival's offensive skills, like Royal Authority for example which is this big AoE hit, will allow you to charge up your charged attack much faster as you can see right here so you'll be able to spam these and keep on dealing more damage. I've already shown you one of Percival's offensive skills, you've also got these two gap closers, with this gap closer granting you stout hearts during its duration and dealing pretty good damage, and with this one applying burn to the enemy, dealing damage over time. You've also got this big combo attack that does pretty good damage, is especially good for bosses whenever you have a big window of opportunity, but can also be used as an AoE tool to get rid of a horde for example. And your final offensive skill is this flame wheel that you leave there on the ground and will be dealing a ton of damage to the enemies. This is especially useful against bosses and as you can see right here you are able to move while that is dealing damage, so you can also avoid incoming attacks or simply charge your next charged attack for a big damage. That being said, we're not going to exclusively be using offensive skills on Percival. Between these two gap closers, I personally prefer to go with Macht because it deals more damage and also has a very high amount of stun. And as if that wasn't enough, you also get Stout Heart during its duration, which basically just makes you uninterruptible. Additionally, Percival can also use this skill called X Seal to inflict slow on enemies and also lower their defense. And this is actually a very powerful skill, as most characters can either apply a slow or decrease an enemy's defense, so being able to do those two things at once is a very good benefit. The debuff actually lasts for a very long time, starting at 5 seconds and going up to 10 seconds once you fully max out your masteries, however the downside is that it has a very long cooldown of 2 minutes and 30 seconds, so you won't be able to use this very often, and so I don't like to take up a slot with this skill, when I could put an offensive skill to deal damage and also charge up my charge attack, which is the main gimmick for Percival to deal a ton of damage. Finally, Percival also has two different buffs, with this one granting 20% attack and defense increase to yourself and the rest of the party, which is a pretty significant buff, so it should not be overlooked, but personally I like to go with a much more selfish playstyle that is focused on dealing as much damage as possible, and so instead we opt to go with this buff that will increase Percival's attack by up to 70% based on how much HP he has. And on top of that it also deals additional hit damage, making the flame wheel, as well as the wide combo attack, a lot stronger. But being able to get a 70% attack increase from a single skill is absolutely fantastic. Keep in mind that this buff is going to last from 30 seconds to 40 seconds depending on whether or not you have maxed out your masteries, with its base cooldown being 90 seconds. So it is important to use this whenever you find a big opening to deal as much damage as possible, though you will be able to use it multiple times during a boss fight. And so this is going to be my preferred skill loadout, so your ideal combo is going to look something like this, you activate the buff and you are full HP, you use one skill, go for a big charge attack, use another skill, and another charge attack, and yet another skill, and a final charge attack. As you saw that was a ton of damage in a very short amount of time. Now it is important to note that Percival can actually parry incoming attacks with his charged attack and as I'll show you in a moment, that is going to be a key component of dealing good damage with Percival. 
Now, because Percival is a character that is very much based around his charged attack, sigils like Quick Charge, which will allow your charged attacks to charge up to 30% faster while also boosting their damage by 20%, are going to be fundamental to get the best damage output out of this character. Other very important sigils are also going to be of course Charged Attack, which will simply boost the damage of your charged attacks up to 50%, Lucky Charge is also a very powerful sigil on Percival as it is going to boost the critical hit rate of your charged attacks and it can go all the way up to 60% but for reference my Lucky Charge 4 sigil is at level 7 so it will grant me 33% critical hit rate and by comparison a level 7 critical hit rate 5 sigil would only give me 11% crit rate. And again because charged attacks are so key to Percival, being able to boost their critical hit rate by this much with a very small investment is going to exponentially increase your damage output. And of course general sigils like attack power which will increase your base attack up to a maximum of 2000 as well as damage cap which will raise the damage limit of your attacks going all the way up to plus 250% more damage are going to be essential to get the most damage output. But of course we cannot forget about Percival's own sigils with his first signature sigil Lord's Procession boosting your movement speed by 20% whenever you are charging your big attack and raising the damage cap of your charged attack by 50%, which is a huge deal. On the other hand, Percival's second sigil, Lord's Ambition, is going to make it so that you recover 8% of your max HP, but more importantly, increase your base attack by 30% for a period of 15 seconds, which is a long time after you successfully parry an incoming attack with your charged attack. So that is why being able to master the charged parry is going to be essential to deal more damage with Percival. My current loadout on Percival looks something like this. As you can see, I haven't even unlocked all of the sigil slots, so because I chose to go with the joyous weapon, which grants me critical hit rate and critical damage, in combination with lucky charge, I will have a base critical hit rate of 62%, but whenever I go for a charged attack, that critical hit rate is going to increase to 95% chance. So it pretty much guarantees that my charged attacks are always going to be a crit, and in combination with critical hit damage, they will be dealing 23% more damage. Damage. And of course, if I had more sigils, I would add even more charged attacks, even more damage caps, and potentially even more critical hit damage. And for reference, here you can see my progression on my offense tree. As you can see, there is quite a bit that I am still missing, and on my defensive side, there are even more things for me to unlock. The same goes for my weapons, and I don't even have a level 150 weapon, and I haven't used Overmastery yet. However, that is all on paper, so let me give you a good showcase of just how much damage I can deal in an endgame quest. So let's go ahead and fight one of these dragons. Very quickly boost our damage, and let's start the aggression. Big charged attack. Put that down, into another big charged attack, with a link attack as well. And let's still go ahead and do that. Now that he's casting these tornadoes, it's actually a good time for me to showcase the way that Percival's parry works. So let's go ahead and parry one of these tornadoes, just like that. And now our damage is going to be increased for 15 seconds, and we also healed for a little bit there. Even though we were full HP. Let's keep on attacking as well. Link attack as well, keep that up. Very big hits. And we get a break, fantastic. Let's go to try to go for the head here. I don't think I can reach it. That's fine. So now that we have the buff again, let's keep on attacking. Put that down. Right there we were cancelled out of our charged attack, but we still dealt big damage. Ooh, we get also a big link attack. And we can go ahead. Oh, I missed the SVA. You hate to see it. So let's go ahead and try to kill it now. We dodge that. Big opportunity to deal some big damage. 
Big charge attack. Oh, I wanted to initiate the SBA. Since I deal more damage. But let's go ahead and use ours anyway. And it's Vayne's turn now. And to finish off the main character. And just like that, we finish off with a full burst. And hopefully that was a very good showcase of the insane damage output of Percival. Sadly we didn't break the horns because we were doing a ton of damage and so we didn't get the S++. But I hope that you guys learned something from this video and appreciate the build that I have made for Percival. Let me know if there was something that you would have changed. And if you want to see more build videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Dark Hero, and as always, happy hunting.